Welcome back, everyone. Now on Eyewitness News, an adult film star who alleges that she had an affair with President Trump and was paid hush money is telling her story for the first time. She sat down with 60 Minutes contributor Anderson Cooper for a two-part interview that aired tonight. CBS News correspondent Winnie Gillette has more. Porn star Stormy Daniels is opening up about the relationship she said she had with President Trump. He knows I'm telling the truth. Her real name is Stephanie Clifford. She says she met Mr. Trump at a Lake Tahoe celebrity golf tournament in 2006, and the two agreed to have dinner in his hotel suite. After dinner, she says she went to the bathroom, and when she came out, he was sitting on the bed. I just felt like maybe... <laughs> Uh, it was sort of, I had it coming for making a bad decision for going to someone's room alone. And I just heard the voice and I, well, you put yourself in a bad situation and bad things happen. So you deserve this. And you had sex with him? Yes. Five years later, Clifford says she sold her story to a magazine for $15,000. It never ran. Two employees of the magazine told 60 Minutes it was because Mr. Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, threatened to sue. Clifford was never paid. A few weeks later, she says she was confronted in a parking lot. A guy walked up on me and said to me, leave Trump alone, forget the story. And then he leaned around and looked at my daughter and said, it's a beautiful little girl, it'd be a shame if something happened to her mom. A friend of President Trump says he spoke to him about the allegations, saying this Sunday morning. He said he thought that, that much of the Stormy Daniels stuff was a political hoax. Again, those were his words. Cohen has threatened to sue Clifford for $20 million for violating a non-disclosure agreement she signed 11 days before the election, granting her $130,000 paid by Cohen. Clifford's attorney is seeking to have the agreement nullified because President Trump did not sign it. The White House declined to comment. Wendy Gillette for CBS3 Eyewitness News.